everybody and a very warm welcome to what could be a new segment of the channel. Ever since I showed a gospel record on one of the soul streams, you'll find the links above my head, I'm getting requests about gospel records like all the time. And I absolutely wanted to do something like Hidden Jewels of Soul and Disco with gospel records because the, the requests from you are there and there are some great records I absolutely want to show you. But the thing is that most of the time to the groups there's absolutely like no information. Like, okay, they recorded that record, what happened to the choir, what happened to the singer, nothing is known. And for me it's always important to put on some information next to, to the record and just show the record, play a track and say thank you and good night. So what I'm trying to do with this kind of segment is I'm showing you three records, we play a track and talk a little bit about them. And um, yeah, why do I like gospel music was one of the questions. Well, if you are into soul, into funk, into disco, you are also, at least in my humble opinion, into late to early 80s gospel music. There are some killer tracks on some records and some of those tracks have been sampled like Like a Ship from Pesto Barrett on I think a Jay-Z record uh, because they're so great. There are some killer drum breaks vocals of these singers they never made a big career they might only made this one recording but some of those singers they could sing off the roof of a church or the recording studios i sometimes get goosebumps it's unbelievable so for me it's very important for liking these genres to uh, get into when i get into record source of fair checking the segments of gospel music um, because it's great music. It's absolutely great music and some great songwriting sometimes. So yeah, that's why I like gospel music. And uh, well, yeah, I show you the three records. And the first one is the Thomas Whitfield Company Volume 2. This is from 1980 and it's called The Things That We Believe. And um, yeah, you can see that the quality of this production is a little higher there were um, um, more money involved because uh, sometimes the covers are not very well done and also what you have to consider is when you're getting these kind of records some of those gospel choirs or the churches were not having the money to get the high-end latest recording equipment so sometimes the audio quality is not the best but it's still great music and Honestly, I listen to great music on a bad recording instead of an audiophile recording with music I don't have a connection to. So for me, that's not the main thing to listen to music, the audio quality. So I just want to make you aware of it. So anyway, I got this record when it was sealed. Of course, uh, music is there to be listened to and I open it up. So... Surprise, surprise, after over 40 years in shrink, the record was warped and it was so warped that it was not playable. I got it flattened so I can play it. It's still not near perfect to play it, but I'm not ruining my needle with it and I can play it. So, um, yeah. So this is volume one, uh, volume two. There's also a volume one. I never came across a volume one. I know it's out there. It's not super expensive, but... I could go the easy way and get it over Discogs, but I'm trying to find it in the wild. So this is volume two and this is the back of volume two. There is Mr. Thomas Whitfield where he thanks his parents for the encouragement and uh, like a good son is doing. And um, yeah, so uh, things that we believe in, I found a lot to be all right. There's just some great, great tracks on this record. And uh, to make a long story short, Let's have a listen. All right. So, and this is, I put it in a polyline sleeve in the original paper sleeve. This is the sound of gospel. This was the label. This is side two. This is side one. And 
let's see this is side two and uh yeah it's playable and it sounds great and that's that's the most important thing i uh i'm not so lucky with flat records lately <laughs> um so what i'm trying to avoid nowadays is getting sealed records from back then because in my opinion so from what i experienced most of them are warped and uh, that's getting them flat and playable is sometimes an issue and i'm not a person to buy a sealed record just to keep it sealed i want to play the music so i'm i'm over getting sealed originals so the next one is one which is from 1986 and it's dedicated to Marvin Gaye. Uh, Marvin Gaye was shot by his father in 1985 and um, yeah that's uh, if you dedicate a gospel album to Marvin Gaye you can be sure that the content will be outstanding and Miss Barbara Watkins is doing a fantastic job on this record with the uh, with the primetime gospel choir. This is the back um, never judge a book by its cover. When you're a record collector and you're browsing through records from back in the day, um, don't judge it by the cover. But anyway, I've seen I've seen worse. And on the back is written, "Thank you, Father." Dedicated to the memory of Marvin Gaye for the love and inspiration for all the people. We will always be grateful to God for giving us His talent for the world to share. Thank you, Marvin. Gigi Copeland. Uh, yeah. Marvin Gaye is a legend in his own time. So when he was on stage and he left stage uh, and the MC was saying it's a legend of his own time, that was absolutely true. One of the greatest. And here we have the tracks in his word. Lord, I'm on my way. There's a place. Be ready. Giving your life to Jesus. And knowing that Marvin Gaye was also a very religious person. Her father was a, was a pastor. Um, I think this is a beautiful homage on, on, on Marvin Gaye. This is just beautiful. And the record sounds fantastic. Let's have a listen. Be ready For you know now What the hour Or the day All right. And here is the record. This is side A on the spirit label and this is side B. Yeah, there's really hardly any words I can express to this recording. It's just phenomenal. If you come across this record, go and get it. You won't get wrong with it. The next one is one of my all-time favorite gospel records. I can't recommend this record enough. And it's the East St. Louis Gospel Lads with their 1977 album, Love is the Key. Have Mercy is one of those tracks you won't get out of your head. It's just tremendously good. And to me, all in all, this record is from the beginning to the end a fan fantastic record there's just one song which slightly get me a little out of the mood but this is my personal taste this is um glory road which is an adaptation of country road they it sounds good country road is not so my favorite song so glory road is well but otherwise this is a fantastic record i can't recommend it enough this is the bag and the East St. Louis Gospel Nets did a few recordings, um, all of them are fantastic, but for me personally, this is the go-to record, and I would say, let's have a listen.
come on it's it's great right it's just it's great so and this is side a let me show it to you also this one i got sealed for around 80 dollars yes it wasn't it wasn't cheap but uh it was there there was the opportunity and i said okay come on go for it and um also this record is was over 40 years in shrink it's slightly warped it's playable but it's also slightly warped but anyway when you uh, collect vinyl when you play in vinyl records you have sometimes to live with imperfection which i think makes vinyl so appealing in those kind of days so this was the first episode of hidden jewels of gospel or let's say the power of gospel if it's not even an hour but anyway so if you come across these three albums uh go and get them or if you come across a gospel section where you have 60s 70s also 80s gospel in it go and have a listen um you'll miss so much if you are not giving this genre a, ch a chance it's i i can't praise uh those choirs, those gospel music enough. So I hope you enjoyed that kind of episode. We will see how it turns off. If you want more, I, I have some more gospel records because I'm a huge fan. So thanks for watching. I'm wishing you all the best. Stay safe, stay healthy, listen to good music, maybe gospel, maybe the East St. Louis gospel lads, maybe Barbara Watkins, or maybe Mr. Thomas Whitfield. Thank you, Anne. See you next time. Bye.